Hey everybody, this is Beach Cricket, and today I thought I would go over a few things about why I chose the van life. Um, I love this lifestyle and the reasons why I'm going to explain to you. Um, the biggest thing that we need is food and we need shelter and we need water. Those are really the basic three things that we need. Of course, love is also important. <laughs> Anyway, um, so to enable that to happen and to be able to live happily without paying most of your money every month to rent and to have adventures was the whole keynote of me deciding to be adventuresome and buy a van and start traveling and living in it. I think it's important to take risk, get out of your comfort zone, and um, you really learn who you are by doing that. And uh, I felt like during the whole episode of living in sticks and bricks and working a nine to five all the time, that I lost me. And there was part of me there, but the whole true essence of my spirit, it was kind of... Um, I don't know just kind of camouflaged a little bit and so this enabled me to really look deep down inside myself and find out who I am again and I mean you know who you are but as far as being vibrant and alive and having experiences and enjoying your life you know it was important to me to get out there and experience that again so by being adventuresome, you learn like where to boondog, where to camp, where to stay every night. And uh, that's kind of risky and it makes a lot of people very uncomfortable if they're not in like maybe a campsite that's paid for or whatever. But by getting out there and learning how to survive and finding free campsites and different places to camp to save your money, it... um. It really makes you learn a lot about yourself and makes you more kind of sustainable within your own spirit. So um, I really encourage everybody to kind of to, to get out of your comfort zone and to, to look deep inside yourself because you'll have more adventures if you get out there and, and take a few risks. Um, experience new things. It's a, a whole new world out there when you get out on the road. You learn about yourself. You learn about all kinds of new things that you didn't even know. So that's really important. And it's fun. I always like learning new things. So take some risk and get out there and be risky. Um, it makes you stop taking things for granted. Like, you know, have a shower or a bathroom or water or you know, all those kind of things. It, You know, you're so used to flipping a switch and having electricity. Well, this makes you realize that, hey, I've got to have water. I've got to have power. I've got to have food. i got to have a way to take out the garbage. Where do I put all this stuff? And how do I utilize all of that in my van life? So it makes you realize that all these things that you've been taking for granted all, all these years... You know, it's it's very eye-opening, the things that you have to learn how to do for yourself inside the van. Um, you also learn that your energy, that you know, to sustain this lifestyle, it takes a lot of energy to do that. It's not that simplistic, and, it, you know, you want to live the simple way of life, but it's more work, you know. Just, <laughs> I have a funny little girl. <laughs> That's Riley, by the way. Anyway, um, so it makes you realize that, you know, there's a lot of things that you have to work for, but the simplicity of it, you learn as time goes on living in a van, you learn how it incorporates itself and you learn all the little tricks along the way and it makes you smarter and it makes you stronger in, in being able to do this. Um... So, the whole other essence of this is that 
I wanted the freedom of being able to travel and look around and see new things. And it has been eye-opening. I have seen so much that I didn't expect to see. And it's been great because I've been to now 47 of the 48 here stateside. So I've got one more to go. That's Kansas. And I'm looking forward to that. And then I've got Hawaii and Alaska to look forward to. Wow, how cool is that? But the reasoning uh, that I really wanted to live this lifestyle is just to be able to be me and have my spirit, whatever I want to do, whatever goals, whatever joy, whatever adventures, I'd be able to do it and I'd be able to financially do it. Now you have to really be careful about the financial aspect because once you get out here, you know you're living like me. I live on my social security and so I planned and made sure that all my bills were paid before I got out here on the road and that was really a, a big game changer. So my bills are very minimal and so it made it easier for me to learn how to use and budget the money that I've got. You learn simplicity, you learn what you're all about, and you can have a whole new definition of yourself once you get out here on the road. So that's primarily why I wanted to do it. I wanted to get out here, have adventures, enjoy this lifestyle, and the pluses that have come along with it, like meeting fellow nomads, has been just wonderful. I have made some lifelong friends that I cherish. And uh, the first year when I got out here, I was kind of solo. I didn't know anybody, didn't really have any links to this uh, nomadic, you know, experience connections. But once I went to the RTR, which I encourage all of y'all to do that because it is a big, big, again, game changer. You meet people that are like you and they have all kinds of helpful hints and they can steer you in some, you know, ways that you just had no clue of where to go or what to do or how to fix or whatever. So all of that has been so fulfilling for me and it's been a whole new world open to me and I feel like I've got really true friends that understand this life that I'm living and understands the whole concept of what I'm doing in this lifestyle. Okay, well, that's about all. I got a little lengthy there, but I just wanted to share that with you. And um, as always, wake up and live. Have those adventures. Beach Cricket out. Bye. Now, Roxy and Riley were scratching and doing all that kind of stuff behind me. And the reason is not that they have fleas or anything. It's because I just took off their winter jackets from a walk and um, they've been actually sleeping in them and also their harnesses so I just took them off so they're like yes my skin my skin I'm grooming it I'm scratching and all that stuff you know how you how you feel after you've had something on you for a long time it's like oh I have my skin back so that was what that was all about goodness we had little we had little itchies didn't we we had to scratch. Did you get it, Riley? Okay. Just thought I'd explain that. I do take care of my dogs. <laughs> All right. Beats Cricket out.